guys, it's Molly. I'm here to bring you a channel greeting. You guys, this part's gonna sound fast. It's just for the shovel and for the song. Uh, you guys, oh my god. Okay, here's the nail polish situation. We've been in the dark, wearing a mask. Oh, okay, we've been in the dark, wearing the mask. Uh huh, who's this for? Oh, I can't wait. Uh huh, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to do my very, very best. All right, here we go. Who's this for? Who's this for? Oh, Libra. Oh, look at this. Oh, they're coming out of that dog. Okay. All right, Libra. Okay, Libra, I'm just going to sit back in my couch, pop this up, and see where it lands. Okay, touch this black deck. And that's funny because I had thought about actually using this black deck, just starting with it. So this is for sure who it's supposed to be used for. All right. Libra, is somebody going to come out from the dark? I think they're there. Mask. Okay. All right. So I'm going to drop the again. So anyway, come. Be coming from the east. Going to the west. Uh -huh. Can you feel it? Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I saw the stars. See, they want to stay by me. Oh, stay. Okay, Libra, I am telling right now. I'm getting a ton of messages already. But I gotta get ready. Yes, because I have a very good performance. Uh huh. I have to do. I have to do your song. Uh huh. So, Libra, Libra. All right, I'm gonna shuffle the cards. Sing your song. Very best I can. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. I know I can do a good job. Okay. I know I can do a good job. All right. Never forget it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, Libra, let's do this. Are you ready? I'm ready. Libra. Oh. In sleep he sang to me, in dreams he came. That voice which calls to me and speaks my name. And do I dream again? For now I find the phantom of the upper eyes there inside my mind. <laughs> Sing once again with me, our strange duet. My power over you grows stronger yet. And though you turn from me to glance behind, the phantom of the upper eye is there inside your mind. <laughs> mm, if you have seen your face, draw back and see. I am the mask you wear, it's me they hear, my spirit and your voice in one combined. The phantom of the opera is there inside my mind. The opera is there, the phantom of the opera. Oh, sing my angel of music. my angel of music. Uh, sing for me. Ah! Find a message. Ah! Sing my angel. Ah! Sing for me. Ah! Oh my god, dudes. That was freaking amazing. Hi guys. I'm Molly. I am a Claire audience psychic empath, you guys. I just freaking rocked out with the Phantom of the Opera. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Now I haven't touched this deck since I put it down. So let's see. Let's see. I'm very, very curious. Ready? Okay. Somebody is manifesting. We're going to look at the top of the deck. No, we're going to do a split. What is this magician manifesting? I almost said musician. All right. Shortened forest. Okay, this person may need help. Okay. This person is stuck right now. They've just been a phantom. Okay. This might be a singer. Okay. They have a lot of options, a lot of, uh-huh, a lot of ideas, illusionary success, okay? They're thinking, they're brainstorming, they've come up with something, okay? Oh! Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> oh, this person wants to stop feeling sad. Okay, this person, loss of pleasure. They had a loss of pleasure, okay? And they thought, they, uh-huh, that they couldn't do this, okay? Mm-hmm. Thinking about it. Can I do it? Oh, yeah. See? Victory. See it? You can do it, Phantom. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. I see Jon Snow. Okay. And that's funny because, uh-huh, uh-huh, he's from the north. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, now I hear Glinda the Good Witch. Uh-huh. She's from the north. 
Okay, these two are divine counterparts. Okay, so uh, I did watch, you guys. Usually I watch the performance. Uh huh. Uh, the video. Yes, I did watch it, but I wasn't really, like, really registering too much. And, uh, Libra. But I did think of the part right at the very beginning. I thought of the part in Game of Thrones where they go down and look at all the dragon skulls. So these people may be dragons, uh -huh, dragon slayers. All right. All right. World for Libra. I'm just getting downloads as I'm doing more clarifications. All right. World for Libra. Uh-huh. Okay. So I did get that. World for Libra. So somebody's been wearing a mask. The Phantom. Yes, this person. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In dreams. Okay, so these two have been hooking up in astral. All right. Might be. Oh, well, look at that. Yep, look at Fertile Field on a sunny day. Right when I said they've been hooking up in astral. All right, this may be each other's, like, dream person. Yeah. All right. They may travel. They may travel together around the world. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Somebody had been put in a hangman position. Both of these people may have been put in a hangman position. Yes. But it's done now. Okay. And there is an opportunity here. This is my card for a fertile field on a sunny day. And there's always, always, there's always been. Okay, these are significant soulmates. Yep, there's already been a little path that's forged. I feel like I have to look at the bottom of the deck. A little path that's already been forged. Ah, oh, there's the divine feminine energy showing up. All right, these are divine counterparts. Okay. He just needs to remove his mask, okay? Let's hear about this. Five of Pentacles. Uh, what do we have? Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles for Libra. Uh-huh, the Princess of Pentacles, excuse me. Yes, okay. Uh-huh. Okay, Libra. Princess of Pentacles, what you looking at? Okay. I see her really looking at the pentacle right here. It's like she's watching something, learning, 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 learning. It's been happening for a really long time. This person, the phantom, yep, it's just been sitting here. This is them. Uh huh. In dreams he came to me. Okay. Uh, yes. All right. So. This person uh, went through something ginormous that left them out in the cold, all right? Uh, this person may have, uh-huh, uh okay, now I see her, uh-huh. Okay, so this person may have ascended their vibration. They may have had to leave a lot of uh, people from their past in their past. They no longer resonate with those people, all right? And they couldn't find uh, anybody to, like, connect with close. They may be lonely. Mm -hmm. But then they found this one person that they've been watching. It might be they may be watching someone online. All right. And they've just been holding back, wearing their mask, this phantom. Yes. All right. This person may be a singer. Uh-huh. All right. But they've been watching and learning, gathering information. This is, like, scholarly learning. This is a really intelligent person. All right, let's hear about it. Libra. Five of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles, yep. All right. Mm -hmm. They've been watching an artist person who is a playful bird, okay? So the playful bird drops down into your life. Uh-huh. So when the playful bird stops off at your bird bath, you just stop what you're doing. Yep. And you, and you watch the playful bird. Yeah, 
Yeah, because it's cool and weird, and it does its weird little dance in, in the bird bath. Yeah. All right, so this person may be feeling depressed, maybe feeling sad, and they're watching somebody who is a playful bird. They've been watching them for quite a long time. It's, a, uh, it's an artist type person. Okay. What is the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles have to tell? Libra. Lots of pentacles all over this. Oh, yep. Double cookie love. This is some sort of divine, uh-huh, divine counterpart. Yep. Double cookie love. Mm-hmm. Double cookie love is my card for soulmates coming together, for twin flames coming together to do their divine purpose. Um, mm -hmm. Big love, I hear. Okay. Now I see boobs. Okay. All right. And there it is. The Phantom of the Opera is there inside his own mind. Okay, this person is overthinking. Yes. Uh huh. They have to take off this huge mask. They've worn this mask. Uh, this is just uh, a super huge mask. This person mm -hmm, may dive deep, they may go super deep. Uh, into emotions, but they do it alone in the dark, okay? This person may have got stuck in a dark night of the soul, something like that. Mm -hmm. This person may have struggled with low self-esteem where they feel like it's a Beauty and the Beast type situation, all right? They have to remove the mask. Okay, this is when I started going, Okay, somebody may have had an addiction. Uh, they may have been a drinker. They may have, uh, yeah, look at it, yep. Okay, so this person may tell, uh-huh, may say, They've given up drinking. They want a fresh, clean, new slate. Okay. It also could be, if it's not a vice, uh, if it's, drinking can stand for uh, any sort of vice that brings you down on a lower vibe. All right. Mm hmm. Mm, this person may, okay, or if it's not advice, this person may have had extreme empty cup feeling in the past. This person may work in a bar, uh, something like that, all right? Work can be fun, but if you're not careful, mm -hmm, it can slip to the dark side and cross the line, okay? Mm -hmm. You're here. Uh -huh. Dark side's calling and nothing is real. Uh, 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 she'll never know just how I feel. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so this person may have been bullied before in the past. Uh huh. All right, so they've given up some sort of advice. Given up some sort of advice. Okay, this person may have gotten some bad advice. All right, they've given up some sort of advice. For this fresh, clean, new slate. There it is again. Look at it. And there's giving up. Okay. So, yeah. Somebody has had a complete and total change. It may be a metamorphosis. Yep. Uh-huh. And Spirit is now bringing in a fertile field on a sunny day. All right. This is, both these cards are fertile field on a sunny day where anything can happen. There is already, uh, you may have already met this person. You don't know them very well. There's just a little bit of a path that's been formed. Okay. Uh, maybe a past life soulmate, something like that. All right. This person may travel. There's the mask. Uh-huh. All right. Okay, this masculine uh, may have some inner child wounding that they have worked on or need to work on or just completed a cycle on. Uh huh. And it kept them in the dark, uh, in sadness, in depression, in overthinking. All right. Mm hmm. They see the 
feminine as a peacock. There she is. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles. All right, this person is a very strong, independent person. They admire that. Okay, then we have some jealousy issues. All right. Mm-hmm. They may have had some jealousy issues before in the past with this person and pushed him away, but now they're like, hey, come here. Uh huh. I see him like putting his arm around her with the sword. He may want to like protect her. So the peacock is a very rare and special bird that is meant to be taken care of and displayed on your mantle as the prize it is. All right. Uh huh. All right, so the masculine may think the feminine is super special and may want to go uh, travel, may want to start something fresh and new, all right, for whatever their divine purpose is. It'll bring in the Ten of Pentacles. Whoa, uh-huh. Do you want to ride my big train? Okay, big train, big train. Do you want to ride the big train? Okay, he may ask her. She may not know about it, all right? She wants to travel. Go by train, ride the big train, whatever that is, all right? He does see her as a divine feminine, but he has to take off his Phantom of the Opera mask. Oh! Okay, that might be it. This might be him removing his mask. Uh-huh. And saying, here I am. I've been hanging out in the dark, working on myself, wearing this big old mask. Yep. I admire you, I see you, I see your strength. I'd like to start this new thing with you. You wanna go travel? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Boobs, okay. I've been watching you, yes. I see Ten of Pentacles with you. Very important, serious discussion. Queen of Swords, all right. Somebody wants to have an honest, open communication. It's the masculine. It's Gary. He wants to talk about the watermelons. Oh, my God. Okay. Final. All right. This is, uh-huh. This is my card for spiritual healing from uh, a mother wound. All right. So Gary may have healed from some sort of mother wound, uh, something, okay, that brought in this empty cup feeling, extreme empty cup feeling. All right. Oh my God. Okay, Libra, let's do it. Okay. Okay. I feel like both of these are the masculine, and this is the feminine. So right here, we have the masculine showing up. Uh-huh. On, like, totally stuck. Yep. Okay, let's see what that says. Despair and cruelty with the Knight of Swords. All right, so this person may be feeling guilty. They may be feeling regretful. They may be super stressed out. Uh-huh. Yep. They may feel like people have been cruel to them. They may be stuck in despair. They may have been stuck in a dark night of the soul. Something along that line. All right. They have a serious decision to make. They, they can't do this nine of swords overthinking anymore. This person is an intelligent overthinker. They may have trouble sleeping at night. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Flowers on the bed sheets. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh huh. It's going to rain all day. All right. So this person makes a serious decision. They, they finally do it. The universe sends in the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is like, enough of this, man. The Knight of Swords is the fastest moving knight in the deck, Libra. He's rushing in with this sword. Uh huh. To make Ten of Swords here to end this cycle. All right. There they are. Okay. Uh, universe is straight up taking over for this person. Okay. They've also sent in a divine feminine, a six of cups relationship. This may be somebody from your past. This is someone who got sent in to bring you pleasure. This is an artistic person. This is somebody mm -hmm, who can help heal whatever that inner child thing was. All right. These people may also have children. All right. This divine feminine is an enlightened person. And she may get, uh, uh huh, give wisdom through her art. All right. Uh, 
And that brings upon the world and the fertile field on a sunny day with a little bit of a path started. All right. So these people may have met each other already, or they may meet each other shortly. They may uh, have very similar interests, may connect, uh, something like that, where this path is already forged, all right? They may have similar taste in music, something along that line, similar hobbies. All right. These people may also, okay, now I see the piece of Iona. Uh-huh, my piece of Iona reading. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. These people may travel. Ireland may mean something. We have the masculine sh energy showing up here. Uh-huh. They've been uh, just in the dark, feeling uh, lonely, left out, alone, uh, spiritually bankrupt, something along that line. They watched something, and they've been watching and learning about it for a long time. Whatever it is, this playful bird brings it in, the feminine. Okay. So she does her art in a really playful, cool way. Uh, and she knows how to play with emotions in a fun and interesting way. All right. And it's having this masculine. Uh-huh. This phantom. Yep. There he is with that big old mask. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I get nothing on that. All right. Here we have the Queen of Swords. With wealth and the Ten of Pentacles and success unfulfilled. All right. So we have the masculine looking at the feminine here. He has been watching for so very long. Yep. He is feeling unfulfilled. He's like, oh my gosh, there's so much opportunity here that I'm just watching. Uh-huh. And I, if I come forward, oh my God, I can have all this with her. All right, but there is this aspect, uh-huh. He may be a little intimidated by her. She may be very intelligent, uh-huh. He may have just been observing her over and over to get her vibe, and he sees she is an enlightened person, a just and fair person, all right. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I see my pouch I made. For my tarot cards, I have a video where I show how to make a pouch for tarot cards. All right, this person may be a reader, a card reader. Uh, they may hold a purse, a significant purse or something like that. And these people have double cookie love for each other. They both see each other as the Ten of Pentacles. The feminine wants to have a serious discussion about it. The masculine's just been hanging out in the dark at the opera. All right. He may have had to kick some sort of vice, some sort of addiction. All right. Uh-huh. He may have assessed if she would uh, be good or bad for him. He's figuring out she's really good for him. Okay. And then that decision gets made that that Knight of Swords brings in. Remember when I flipped? Sing, my angel of music. All right. Uh-huh. All right. So spirit is bringing these two people together. It is divine timing. These people may be earth angels. They could be performers, singers. They may travel for their performance. Uh-huh. Somebody may be famous, but they may have to hide out in the background because they're famous or something like that. All right. Uh, the masculine wants to come forward to the feminine. All right. She's a sweet little songbird. Uh-huh. In the choir. Okay. All right. So, yeah, this person, that was from the citrus reading. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Bars and books, a new clean life. Okay. So this person spends time in a bar or, or uh, a liquor store or something like that through the, for their work. And they see her as being able to help them, uh, helping them with that. Okay. 
because they did have the end of that cycle. Okay. They may contact you and say, hey, do you want to go travel? Uh-huh. Do you want to go do this new fresh thing? This new clean life? All right. Whoa, cool, Libra. Okay. Are you going to go to the opera? Oh, my God. Okay. Let's see. I have the green oracle. The green oracle, Libra. I just pop a card and let you look at the picture and receive the message. All right, Libra. Let's see what the Phantom of the Opera for Libra. Libra. Whoa, there it is. All right, Libra. There's your message. Now, that's the first part of your message, Libra. The second part of your message... Uh-huh. We'll be down in the comments. So I uh I load this back up onto YouTube, Libra, and while it's loading back up, I'll watch it. And Spirit will buzz out some buzzwords for me. And I'll type them into the search in my past readings. And then Spirit will will pop up a whole bunch of uh previous readings in kind of a story format. And I'll just copy and paste it. That's my job as a librarian for the Akashic Records. Yes. Uh-huh. Go Venus. Okay. Venus helps me with this. All right. The masculine is realizing this. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So there may be additional messages for you down in the comments. Um, I do. When I get my buzzword, I'll hear it, I'll type it in. And if nothing pops up when I type in the buzzword, I'll start deleting from the end of the word until a story pops up, all right? So uh, if you're looking in the comments, I will put the buzzword in parentheses and quotations, and next to it, there'll be a little dash, and then a little bit of the word or whatever that I had to delete to get the story, okay? If you like to geek, geek out on that kind of stuff, all right, uh-huh. That's the compass, okay. All right. These people may be coming together for their life missions. Uh, may involve travel. All right, there you go, Libra. All right, cool reading. Have fun. They're gonna take off the mask soon.